What's up? Thanks for watching my content again. It really motivates me to move forward and release more videos. Today in the video I'm going to tell and show you how I made the thumbnail for the last video on exploring with Josh channel. Josh and I have known each other for over 3 months now, and it all started when I first decided to monetize my work. Josh was probably the first blogger to notice me and that's when I got really involved in the field of design. It gave me a huge boost of motivation. So Josh, thank you very much. I won't drag it out, let's move on to Photoshop. It all starts as always, with the sources. Josh sent me a few sources himself, his friend Seth, who is also directly involved in the video. So he wrote a little terms of reference and attached a few ready-made forks of other YouTubers, so there were no disagreements. And everything was as clear as possible. For this then seem a lot, because sometimes, when I do work for other YouTubers, the edit takes much more time than making a thumbnail, because people don't understand what they want to see in the final result. Then of course we create a composition, at first we roughly adjusted the sources, then a little torture process because you need to find the cool and suitable source of the building itself, where the action takes place in the video. After a few minutes of searching through different resources, I finally find a suitable one, and place it by the composition. Cut the house itself, later you'll understand why. And proceed to adjust the characters by light, shadows, because they were made with different lights and slightly different quality. Next, I do a little retouching to make the guys look even better. And of course we don't forget to process and almost completely change the color palette on the building itself, to kick up the gloomy atmosphere. Because of course we need the thumbnail to match the atmosphere on the video. Because a few people will go to thumbnail in bright colors when the video itself brights gloom and creepiness. And that's actually why I decided to cut out the sky. It's simple, to insert another one, more gloomy and appropriate. I also change a few different photos in the process and shift the composition a bit. Then trace a shadow of set from Josh and add a small light source behind and of course added the general light on the characters. First of all engage in drawing the light at the temples, because it's sometimes the most difficult. Next, of course, I draw a counter light to even better distinguish our guys from the background. I do this with a common white brush without a gradient map, since we not need any bright and varied contrasting colors. Of course, don't forget about uh, the light on the hair. For this I use a special brush from my personal brush pack. If you want, I will also make a video about this. In the same way the lights is drawn on set. And I also correct the light on the temples. Next, to make the video seem even more clickable and mysterious, I find the ghost on the internet and add it to our composition. Change the colors of it. The idea is to put the ghost in the window. Of course, fit it and make it more visible. Yeah. 
Next, I also add a little smoke from the bottom of the screen to also catch up with atmospherics and mystery. And now we are already at the finish line. I'm adding text that I also recently used in one of the thumbnails for Josh, so I don't have to create it from scratch. And now the finish line, a small final color collection and here is the final result. Personally I like the work very much, I hope you too. I also hope that from this video you have highlighted some interesting features for yourself and they will help you with working on thumbnails. I'm trying to create content as often as possible, despite the gloomy situation in the country and the frequent power outages caused by Russian shells. I wish you all a peaceful sky. See you soon.